one of the greatest challenges facing um, us right now relates to uh, rapid city growth. Uh, cities are growing by something like a million people a week, if the UN is right, and that's almost unbelievable as cities grow, cities move in, but primarily people being born in cities as population growth happens. One of the issues, however, of course, is greater vulnerability, uh, and that's the threat of disasters in cities. And they may be small and everyday, of course, fires that happen and, and all those things, but of course when the large disasters happen, like in Haiti and Port-au-Prince, uh, that's really cataclysmic, that's uh, phenomenally awful. Uh, what aid agencies do and others... They don't really know yet. We don't really know yet. It's terribly hard. It's very complex. Everything falls, up, falls, falls down around you. What are you going to do? Clearing the stuff away is terribly hard. Uh, where people should go, the sheer densities. Um, UNHCR, for example, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, their agency, when it relates to what to do for emergency shelter, where do you put people? The space is very tight. People need to shift away out of the city. But then do they come back? In the Pakistan earthquake that happened some four years ago now, a very terrible earthquake that affected parts of northern India, but 98% of the 80-plus thousand deaths that happened were in Pakistan. Uh, many uh, large cities such as Balakot and Muzaffarabad fell down. If you revisit now, three, four years on, what is extraordinary are how those cities have been rebuilt, and you just marvel and admire the ability of people to do that. However, at the same time, you do see that many people often the poorer people, are unable to rebuild. They maybe didn't have land ownership in the first place and therefore can't prove that where they lived was where they could rebuild. And this is an issue we do find going around all over the world, the absence of land ownership and land tenure for poorer people. They may have had it traditionally in society, but they can't prove it. This is a huge issue. In Pakistan, of course, in the hilly Himalayan areas, um, land just disappeared. People uh, sought to return to where they were from uh, after being in, in the camps when they were shut down some months after the earthquake, there was literally nowhere to go. Their land didn't exist anymore. So what we do find is the issue of land. That's unsurprising. But as we find cities get denser and people are stacked on top of one another and getting denser and denser, the issue is land. So in Haiti, if you were living in a six-story building uh, where, you were, where you were letting, you were, you, were, you were a tenant, you maybe were living there informally, meaning you had no ownership, when that fell down and you were lucky enough to survive, where do you go and live again? Uh, who rebuilds your house and how do you prove you were there? It's a real problem and one that the aid community and others uh, are really grappling with. The sheer costs, the issue of ownership, land tenure, land titling. One of the, uh, well, again, one of the, one of the sort of backroom issues that are a bit dull but actually come to the fore when something very bad happens.